Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to 3D HP. Time to test Rep Rapper second resin they sent me. We've got the gray right here. We've got some really cool prints to do. Let's jump over in the resin room and uh, we'll start printing some goodies and then we'll check out their website. In the prior video, I tried out their skin resin and now I've got a, some gray here we're going to try out. And as with the other video, they sent me gloves, which is really nice because if some people don't realize they're supposed to wear gloves with resin or they might run out, here's a nice little reminder, getting a pair. Now the last pair I had were kind of tight. Let's see if these are the same. I'm sure they're the same size. I've got medium sized hands. Yeah, they fit, but they're small gloves. And today we're going to be printing uh, Falcon, the Winter Soldier. I believe that's the model from Wicked. It's a bust, and right after we get this started, I'll take you over to their website, and uh, we'll show you where they're at on Amazon and on Facebook. So, that's a beautiful container. It's real nice red. It's kind of a candy apple red in color. Go ahead and shake it up really good. I've already got a couple parts of the model sliced there, and on the SD card. And that's my safety cap. And this time I'll just grab and pull the plug out so I don't have to fight it. Be sure whenever working with resin, always wear your safety glasses and wear your uh, gloves. That's a real nice, kind of a medium gray color. Go ahead and take it up to max fill line. Plug back in. And let me set up my DSLR and we'll get to printing. And I've got my uh, resin lapse uh, cable all hooked up. You can buy this from uh, Andrew South or Uncle Jesse. There will be links below in the description where you can find the cable. It's hooked up to the back of the resin printer. It goes right to the side. Every time it comes down for a layer and the UV flashes, it takes a uh, photo with the camera. And see what we got here. Go to print. Torso. And there we go. And you'll see as it comes down when it starts the first layer, you'll hear the, you'll hear the camera flash. The resin is not odorless, but it's very low odor. I can barely smell it. And I've got a Winx air purifier in the room to help on the odor which is very low. And there you heard the first click and we're off to the races. And here is Rep Rapper's website at reprappertech.com and Looks like they have printers, they've got different types of filament, they've got their resin, of course, 3D pens, many different things here. And uh, let's kind of go through it here. And click through here and see what we got. Pretty filament. And then moving on. Here they are over on uh, Facebook, their Facebook group for Rep Rapper. Now there will be links in the description below where you can find all three of these sites at. Lots of information here, ways to contact them, post your prints, post your resin prints, lots of information. I love Facebook groups for contacting companies and posting things. Then here they are over on Amazon here in the USA. And uh, it appears that they have the, they've got their gray, what they call red wax, which I think they relabeled it. They said they sent me red wax, but I believe that's their flesh tone, their uh, skin color. Translucent black. And of course, like most resins, it's designed for uh, all printers. Lots of information here and precautions tells all about it. 
So there's their 500 gram bottle and their 1,000 gram. And I've got two of the larger bottles I'm currently testing. And here's Wicked's Patreon at patreon.com slash 3D Wicked. And they have lots and lots of cool models. Most of their models, they do a diorama and then they do a bust of the same model on quite a bit of their stuff. If not all of it, but a lot of it. And uh, lots of cool stuff here to see. And a lot of, lot of great stuff by them. And I've printed a few. And then moving over, here's Wicked at 3dwicked.gumroad.com. You can also find them over on Gumroad. And as you can see, just tons and tons of cool models here. Why my page is buffering there, also just taking time to load. So, lots of amazing work. Come on, Paige, quit buffering. And there's uh, the Falcon right there that I just did. Captain America bust. Awesome. See, then right here where the mouse is, there's a, the full model, and there's a bust that would go with it. Tip typically, when you uh, buy one, you get both. So, a lot of great stuff there, guys. Yeah, I live near Nellis Air Force Base in Las Vegas. That's why you hear jets. They've got red flag or something going on. they got jets flying over. Anyway, let's get back to the video.
take a look at our print quality with the gray resin by Rep Wrapper. This has been hollowed to two millimeters thick, 100% scale as it was designed by the designer. Quality came out really nice. Don't seem to have any problems with the resin. And then as we move on, over here on the wings, these were printed solid because they're fairly thin. I don't want to try to hollow them. And as you can see, if you're wondering why I'm having the color change, I was running out of gray resin. Because there's so much resin being used in these parts, I was running out, so I started dumping more of the skin color that was from the prior video from Rep Wrapper into the vat to make up the difference. But these have been printed solid. They came out very nice, but that's why there's a sudden color change. I was dumping in and in as I was printing. You can see the bottom there is solid gray and it slowly starts to transition because I added, like I said, I added the skin resin to it. And this is also very solid, very heavy. But like I say, these have all been hollowed two millimeters thick and uh, put drain holes in them. Came out very good. The quality looks wonderful. I got a few little places here and there I have to clean up from a little bit of supports and a few pits. I'll have to sand. And then as we move down here to the bottom where I've got the base, it's also hollowed two millimeters thick. These parts here are solid. This was the last stuff that I printed and I was adding other resin that I had because I was running out of the rep wrapper. And in a mid-sized resin printer, that's a large vat. And you obviously can't let it run dry, your print will fail. So I started adding other resin to make up for it. So, but the, I, would, I managed to get all the parts completed. And as I was moving, removing supports on this one, I broke two of the stars there. I didn't realize they were there and I was taking my scraper and I was pulling off supports and I broke the two of the stars so I'll have to fix those. And there's a few bumps there from the supports, so I'll have to sand all that down lightly. But yeah, it printed really nice. It did print really good. And here we are with lots of parts, lots of stuff to glue together. I can't glue all of it together because some of it needs to be primed and painted before it's put together. If you glue too much of your model together, you can't get the nooks and crannies for painting. Therefore, I can only do part of it. So let's go ahead and get started here. Yeah, once that's glued, that'll pretty much go about like that. And the cape sits on the table. And then his shield, which is also printed solid. That's one uh, um, let's see, where does that go? Oh, it mounts on the back here. So, yeah, basically like this. But yeah, obviously I can't glue it all together because then I can't paint it. It looks pretty cool. Very cool indeed. And one thing I did make a mistake, which I do occasionally, I load too much in Cheetah Box. And I slice and print too many things. I have this uh, winged emblem doohickey right here. Well, I printed another one that's in two parts. I didn't realize that you could either print it separate or one piece. And I printed both, so this is extra. And 
see if I can show you where that's going to go. It goes right along the front. Yeah, that'll get glued right along the front right there. Got to figure out what position he goes in. It's about like that, I believe. And then as far as for clear resin, I went ahead and I printed out his goggles to go in his glasses. They're not perfectly clear. They got a slight yellow tint to them. I'll see if I can clean them up. But once he's all painted up and his eyes are painted and his face is done, then I can put that in place also. And you'll be able to see his eyes through it. And now, if I, like I say, if I can't clean them up, I'll reprint them. But yeah, it came out great. And, you know, I've tried out a zillion different kinds of resins. And in my small resin printer, my original Elgu Mars, it seemed like pretty much everything worked with no problem. And I usually based what I was using for resin, I based it on price. And uh, kind of went from there. But then when I got into mid-size resin printers, certain resins, it seems like, doesn't don't like mid-size resin printers. And there has been a few I've had trouble with, but most of them overall seem to work pretty good. And Rep Wrapper Resin, even though I got this free to try out and review, it prints fine. The price is reasonable on Amazon. And it seems to print perfectly fine. I had no issues with anything other than I ran out. And the only reason I ran out is this is printed solid. This is a lot of resin right here. And, uh, you know, and then I printed a couple extra parts I didn't need. So that's why it took more than one bottle. And I had to jump back in and use some of my skin resin to complete the model. And then at the very end, I thought I was going to run out. I, I might have had enough. I didn't want to run the vat too low to find out. I went ahead and I dumped some different resins I had in there. So, But anyway, I got the model done. It looks great. You know, thank you, Wicked, very much for allowing me to print this awesome model. And Rep Rapper, thank you very much for sending me off this resin to try. I really appreciate it. And uh, if you like this video, hey, leave me a comment down below. Give me a thumbs up. Like, subscribe, share. I really appreciate it. You know, every week I try to keep making cool content for you guys. I love helping out the community however I can. I'm by far no expert in anything I do. I just do a lot of this and I do a lot of that. But thank you very much, everybody, and happy resin printing. Oh, stay tuned for all some cool pictures I'll have right here. Thank you. Take care, guys.